Welcome to Looking for Pythagoras Investigation 2, Problem 2.3, and I'm just going to do an introduction for this lesson just to get you started and make sure you understand how to find the lengths of lines on the 5 by 5 dot grid. So in this problem, you're asked to make line segments as, as many different lengths as possible just within a 5 by 5 dot grid. So and, and then list their length. So we're going to just start with some real simple ones. We know the length of that line is one square unit, or one unit, not square, not doing squares. The length of this one is two, so we'll do some real simple ones. The length of this one is three. Don't make the mistake of counting the dots. Count the spaces in between one, two, three units, and then four units, and that's the most we can do. And if I were to do them the other direction, they would be the same length. So if I'd gone this way, it's still one. So it's not really any different than this one. Those two are the same. So we don't really need to do them both directions. Okay. Now these are the only lines we can do that connect dots directly that give us whole number lengths. We just do those. But what we can also do is start doing diagonal lengths. So this one here. So if I did that diagonal length, I know the length of that line is the square root of 2. And you might be saying, well, how do you just know that? Well, I, I know it because it's, it's a part of this square. If I were to actually make the square that it's a part of, the area of that square is two square units. So the side length has to be the square root of the area. I really could go back to the original squares I did over here and think of them as side lengths of squares. Like this would be the side length of a square whose area is 4, and so its side length is the square root of 4, which is 2. This one is the side of a square whose area is 9, 3 by 3, and so its side length, its length is the square root of 9, which is 3. So now I can start finding all different kinds of lines or line segments, like if I did this, connected here all the way across, there's a couple ways I could actually think of that length. I could think of it as the length of a square, this square, and the area of this square is 8 square units, so the length of that line is the square root of 8. I could have also thought of that line as two of these. See, from here to here is the square root of two. Well, there's two of them, two sections, this one and that one. It's the square root of eight all the way across, but I could have also described it as two square roots of two across. So sometimes some square root numbers can be expressed in two ways, and here's one way to express all the way across the square root of eight, because it's the square root of that area, or this one with two square roots of two. And I could even keep going. So from here to here, all the way across, that's the area of a much larger square, but really it's just three square roots of two across. And really if I did this again, this one here is one, two, three, four. Each of these segments is a square root of two. 4 square root of 2 across. So you see I have lots of different lines that I can make, different sizes. I could connect these two dots. And these two dots, length, are really the square root of this square. If I were to actually make this square and find its area, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Area is 5, so that's the square root of 5. Connecting those dots like that. And since I know that connecting two dots like that is the square root of 5, if I connected, there's square root of 5, and there's another square root of 5. And so from there all the way across is 2 square roots of 5. Or it's the area of a much larger square that extends out off my paper. 
you see I can actually come up with lots of different lines and lengths but once I know the distance between two dots like the distance between these two dots is the square root of 5 if I have sets of those multiples of them then I can simply find the length of the line by adding them together two of these two segments the square root of 5 long and if I wanted to I could actually find the area of a much larger square that's more work so we'll be content to use these little measuring sticks like this square root of 5 measuring stick or this square root of 2 measuring stick and be able to use those to calculate larger numbers of them as we go and you can see these lines are all different lengths they're, they're this one's longer it's longer than that and so as we put them together you can see that they actually come out with different lines so here's a few of the ones for here there's more but hopefully this gets you started with trying to find the lengths of different lines using the square root symbol and you really literally can leave the answer just like this because this is as accurate as we can get with these. If we start doing them with a calculator we'll get decimal numbers that we'll have to round off. So this is a good way to leave the answers if we're doing that. If we want to actually estimate them we would estimate them to one decimal place after we calculate them out. So I could show this answer. So I have four square roots to you. You can actually put it in four square roots of two and we'll get a decimal and we'd round that off to 5.7 if we wanted to have that actual number in our calculator. So round it off so that would be 5.7 units long. And that should get you started on Pythagoras problem 2.3 if you're wondering how to do that.